You guys are probably thinking, wow, Reagan, your new background is so modern. It's sleek. Here, look, I added a piece of art for art's sake. <laughs> no, but really, I realize this background is super lame. Glasses, nope, glare. But, as I've pre uh, previously stated in previous videos, I am moving, and I'm moving tomorrow. So I'm in a temporary room in my house because there's literally nothing in my old room, besides like some dust. Anyway, I decided today, in honor of the back to school season coming upon us, to make a video that I think has been pretty highly requested, and that is the topic of how to read more during school or college. I have gotten so many questions, especially during the school year, because that'd be a logical time to ask that question, is, Reagan, how do you read so much while being in class? Or like, with college, or with school, like, how do you do it? Give me your secrets! Well, here today, I'm here to give you secrets, even though truly there aren't really any secrets, but I am here to give you advice on what I do, or what I have discovered works best for me. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to say is, just right off the bat, before I even give you any sort of advice, is that if you don't feel like reading, don't read. School is very stressful, you have a lot of required tasks to do. Do not make something you enjoy and love doing another required task. If you don't feel like reading and you just want to watch Netflix, watch Netflix, but also do your schoolwork. Don't fail out of school. Stay in school, kid. The point is, don't feel like reading should be an obligation for your entire, like, for the entirety of every type of free moment you've ever had in your life. If you don't feel like doing it, don't do it, my friend. Do something else. But let's get into the actual advice now. Okay. So my first piece of advice is use your procrastination time wisely. Procrastination. I don't care who you are or what you do or what kind of super genius, productive person you are, everybody procrastinates. And what I, my tip is use your procrastination time wisely because this is from personal experience here, but I tend to do something like I will have an assignment, I will know I have to do this assignment, but I don't want to do it, but to keep but to make myself do it, I will not allow myself to do the things I truly want to do with that time spent, like read a book or watch that episode of Rain or Vampire Diaries or something like that. But because I'm a pro procrastinator, I still don't do the assignment, but I also don't cheat and don't do the things I want to do. So instead I just read like random Wikipedia articles and get stuck on Tumblr for four hours. So I just wasted a whole bunch of time and still didn't do the acti or do still didn't do the assignment. So what I say to you is, Use your procrastination time wisely. If you have like a couple days or you have a couple hours and you literally see yourself not doing anything besides getting sucked into the internet, give yourself an hour to do the activity you really want to do in your brain. Read a book, watch that television show. For me, I always use this as reading a book. I would read for about an hour, do my reading, and then I would actually find myself being more productive towards the schoolwork because I would have done the task that I dreamt about doing already, so it's just easier to continue on. So, first tip! My second tip is pretty easy. This is just something um, that I have just, again, found myself doing during the school year. And it is always have like a scheduled time that you read. Like, build it into your routine during the day to read, because you will read. <laughs> and my scheduled time to read every day during the school year was always before bed. And this could range anywhere between like, 10 pages or like five minutes of reading before I pass out because it's four in the morning or like a whole bunch of pages. So I always just try to read before bed. It winds me down, it stresses, it de-stresses me and I like to do it. So that's what I always try to read. Though I never read before a test because I'm worried that I'm gonna like replace some sort of like obscure historical figure with like Selena Saradothian. <laughs> My third tip would be um, read short books, okay? Because th this is for two particular reasons. One, short books are short, meaning they take less time to read and therefore you feel accomplished quicker. You read like a 300 page book or a 250 page book and you're like, yeah, I read something this month. Or you could try to read a tome like Game of Thrones during the month and it's just so long and eventually you can feel sort of down about yourself. So you're like, I've barely read anything it seems like. But you have because it's a huge book and then that big book can sometimes feel like a chore or another task that you have to do along with your other schoolwork. So I just recommend reading shorter books basically for instant satisfaction type situation. And my last tip 
for all you school goers is read a book with a friend. And this could either be with like internet friend or like real life friend. Don't know what those were like, but. But basically this kind of makes you read in a way in a fun setting. Like your friend's reading this book so you know it has to be read, right? So you can't be like, oh, I'm gonna go Tumblr forever. So you're like, no, I need to read this book. But it's fun because you're reading with someone so you can talk with them. And also that keeps you motivated because I don't know about you, I don't like to lose, even though reading isn't something you can win or lose at, but I don't like to lose. So if my friend's ahead of me, I don't like that. I want to catch up. I need to I get there. I need to get there quick. So that helped me a lot during the school year as well. So those are my tips and tricks for reading more during the school year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. and if you want other like general tips and tricks for like general college or school stuff, not just reading stuff, I can do that. Let me know down below if there's any sort of advanced videos you would like. Alrighty guys, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!